In this video, I'm going to talk about app opener role available within Microsoft Power Platform Power Apps. What is an app opener role? Now, app opener role is a security role available in the Power Platform environment. You can use the security role to assign various privileges for conducting various tasks. Now, app opener role is one kind of a special role available within the platform. Now, it has minimum privileges for common task. Now, why and when are you going to use app opener role? Now, what happens is Power Platform has a whole bunch of inbuilt security role available out of the box. Now, you can't go ahead and just use a system administrator or system customizer role for all the apps you built within your application. Now, if you are building a customized solution and if you want to have a customized role defined, then app opener role will give you that starting point. You need not worry about what all entities or tables or permission sets you need to assign to various uh, entities or tables within your application. Uh, you can just use app opener role to start with and then you can start using all those customized tables which you have used within your application now it basically acts as a template to create custom security role for so example model driven app so if, if you're building a model driven app and if you have created your own customized table now it's very easy to understand that you have created your own custom table and you know where those table resides but there are other entities or tables or things which are available as a part of the platform infrastructure like say if an app is gonna open or app is gonna render in a grid view or if a app is gonna utilize task accounts contacts activities or those sort of things then it is very difficult to assign permission to individual table and uh, give privileges based on create read update uh, write share those kind of things then it is always advisable to go with an app opener role and then you can build your security role on top of it now remember this does not have any privileges to the core business table so core business table like account contacts all those things it does not have any privileges by default given to that table you need to explicitly mention that now, app opener role has org level access to system table, example, processes to read the workflows. Uh, in earlier, like say uh, one, two or three years back, there was nothing called as app opener role. Now, we, what we used to do is like, we used to uh, make use of min PRV apps use role, and then we used to build custom security role out of it. Now, min PRV apps use role was not available as a part of your Power Platform system. What you need to do is like you need to go into some external site, download this role and then modify this role as per your requirement. I'm going to show that I'm going to demonstrate that in uh, in a while. So now app opener security role is a new way of working. Now an app opener security role here, you can't edit the app opener security role. Now, when you open app opener security role, here you will see that app opener role privileges cannot be adjusted due to its non-customizable nature. So whatever is there is there. You cannot touch this particular security role. Now here, as you closely watch under business management for all the business unit, currency, organization, security role and team, you have a read level organization privilege. So that means it gives you that starting point for you to create a customized security rule for your bespoke model driven app application. App opener privilege rule. Now, how do we create a custom security rule out of app opener privilege rule? So what you can do, you can create a new rule. And once you create a new role and assign a business unit to it and then specify the member's privilege inheritance, there is a checkbox which gives you a some special set of permission privileges, which allows you to include the app opener privileges for running model driven app. So once you take this by default, all the app opener privilege will get embedded to this specific role set. Now, earlier 
what we used to do is we used to download min prv apps use rule from an external website and then from there uh, we used to customize this particular uh, security role set now i'm going to demonstrate that so just for an example once you download one of the file earlier um, it used to give us three xml files in that zip file now here in that three different xml file uh, various privileges uh, used to be defined okay so i'm going to show you that uh, so let's jump into the demo okay so uh before we even go into the demo let me show you one article from microsoft so here this is coming from learn.microsoft.com so here uh, they explicitly specify what are the minimum privileges for common tasks now make sure that your users have a security role with the minimum privileges that are needed for common tasks like opening model driven app now earlier we used to use main prv apps use role but now we should not use this okay so what the process is when you click on min prv apps use role it used to go into an external site and then that external site will go into uh, download the min privilege security role uh, zip file now what does the zip file contains the zip file basically contains three xml file content types.xml customization.xml solution.xml now if you open that in vs code this is how the solution file will look like let me zoom this customization now the customization.xml will look something like this now if you closely read it says the role stack it has a specific role id and uh, the role privileges which by default comes as a part of main prv uh, roles now here you will see prv append to new process append to async operation append new processes all those things comes as a by default as a package and it also specifies what kind of level it is whether it's just a basic or it is a global global means like at an organization level so a simple xml file will used to give you a platform to create a custom rule okay and the content type is a stock standard uh, it defines the xml version and the types uh, for the schema so uh, going back to our power platform uh, environment so i'm in one of the environment so if i navigate to one of the environment let me go into one of the environment say girish dev and here if i go to settings and if i go to security roles here i can see whole bunch of security roles now what we are interested in something called as an app opener security role now the app opener security role is by default available in the newer version now app opener security role will allow you to create a custom security role but you cannot update this app opener security role because this is non customizable but if you close read through all this app opener security role let me go through one of the say section so here you will see organization you have a read at an org level security role read at an org level team user user setting read at an org level now if you see here business process flow so you have a new process you have a translation process now here new process translation process you can create read write delete append append to uh, from a core record perspective you can't do anything on a report except for read for a saved view you can read from a user uh, perspective from a trace you have an org level permission now like this you have whole bunch of things defined now from where all this is coming this is all like if you have seen through that xml file which we have just seen it lists down all the privileges what is available like the read app module or read app config master read attribute okay so those all things come as a part of this particular privilege so here if you explore this uh, security role you will get to see all these things uh, clearly defined now what is the purpose of all this thing why why are we going to use this now here we will what earlier we used to do is like if you want to create any custom security role uh, we used to pick up any security role so min priv so let's assume we have min priv security role so we are going to pick say one of the security roles so let's assume this is like that min priv security role we used to select that okay and then we used to create some sort of a 
copy around it okay and then once you have that copy created then uh, you can uh, add more customized permission on top of it now let me show you one of the rules say basic user okay now if you see here basic user role i'll just copy this role okay and then here you will see that create another security rule by copying this to one only its privileges will be copied over so i can create now uh, girish custom role so from a basic user i'm creating a girish custom role privilege uh, security role now custom girish custom role will have all security privileges of the uh, basic user okay now this is how we used to create but the newer way of creating any custom security role would be to you just click on new role and you did not bother about copying anything you just go ahead create your own role and just call this girish custom role 2024 specify your business unit and make the selection include app opener privileges for using model driven app and whatever members privilege inheritance you want to select you can select that but the moment you do this selection it will automatically include all the privileges of the app opener security role and assign it to girish custom security role and once you are done with it you can go ahead and open the security role and add all the custom column custom tables which you have created for your specific application uh, and then you can from that point onwards you can go ahead and uh, edit it you can even edit the miscellaneous privileges you can uh, edit the table business management core records and so on and so forth now if you want to see some more information from here what you can do you can go into the uh, the old interface and then from that old interface you can uh, select all the privileges uh, in that green icon yellow icon uh, and blank icon so you can go ahead and you can do that as well okay now how to navigate to the old interface is again it's simple i'll just show you quickly so if you go into say you are in power platform admin center uh, now what you can do you can go to make.powerapps.com and within that make.powerapps.com you can go into select that clock icon click on advanced settings and then from here you can select settings and then from here click on security click on security roles and from here you can pick up whatever security rule which you have created so if i click on g here you will see the one which we just created girish custom role 2024 now here once this role is opened then here you can assign custom entities now i have created some uh, couple of custom entities so so take for example there is a table called as world i can give a create privilege on this from a user create privilege on world is set to user level uh, maybe read i'll just give it to uh, org level and like this i can select and i can make those selection or maybe if i want to give everyone the organization privilege i'll just click here world and it will automatically make it all green or maybe i'll just make it all yellow or user level privilege I can go ahead and save this now i can also make some changes on the business process flow or if i go into core records i can um, select the core records permission so if i want all the, the user to read the account and the contact entities sorry this one yeah so i can select this and also there are some miscellaneous privileges below if i want user to publish the report i can select it if i want user to view the audit history so what essentially we are doing we are assigning a lot of security rules privileges uh, to this particular custom role which we have just created so this is how you basically um, assign privileges to the custom security role which you have just created so that's it folks this is all about uh, creating a custom security role in my